This week I'm in the posh part of London, living with concert promoter and friend of the stars, David Guest. Celebrity came late in life to David, first as husband to Hollywood royalty Liza Minnelli, then as a reality TV star in his own right. Now some of the people I stay with bring more baggage than I do, and apparently this one is no exception. We are here at David Guest's place. I think he lives in here very posh. Apparently though he's got serious OCD and he's germaphobic. If you sneeze, he freaks. So for the next couple of days I'm going to be seriously well behaved. Here we go. Hi! Oh, welcome! How Lucy. many locks do you have? Oh just the one! Oh, Hi, oh, let me give you a hug! <laughs> Lovely to see you. Lovely Come to on in. You. Welcome to the David's oh, house. It's lovely and warm in here. It is a lovely house. It is freezing I'm just gonna... outside. Is it really oh cold? But gosh. hold on, I'll show you around to the David's guest house. Come on in. Oh wow! So we're gonna unpack you, and then okay. I'm gonna get you some tea. Where is and he? Some... Oh, he's just getting ready for you. Okay. Okay. So we'll unpack you. Hey. Hello. Hi, I'm you. Lucy. How are you? Lovely to meet you. Good Your to meet you. Your place is just unbelievable. Did you meet my cousin? Yeah. Chlamydia. Okay. And we have another cousin, Rosetta, yes. and another cousin, Falange. Praise Rosetta! Praise, Praise them. Falange! Praise them! Praise them! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you sing? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> now, she can sing. Oh, we got oh, wow. the whole world in our hands. We got the whole world in our hands. We got the whole world Good voice. in our hands. Hands, we got the uh -huh. whole world in our hands. Sing it. Brother. I got the itsy Woo! bitsy baby. Sing it, brother. In my hands, I got the whole world in my hands. Yeah. Come on. Mom, mom, mom. This is the living room. And I love I, your bar. Do you drink? I do drink. Good yes, man. I can. Okay. Very well. Yes, I can. Um, I love it. This bar was Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Wow. And I got this about 20 years ago at an auction. Michael Jackson, who I grew up with, yeah. he was very jealous because he wanted it, and we were bidding together, and I said, that's for me. So the next thing he got. This is the, the woman who raised me in Hollywood, and she's my second mother, Jane Russell. Wow. She starred with Marilyn Monroe and Gentlemen yeah. Before Blondes. And in June, I'm bringing her over because she only travels by boat. Okay. For her 90th birthday. <gasps> She's 90. She's going to be 90. Look how gorgeous she is. Stunning. Sorry. You could have brought your daughter. Yeah, yeah, could have, son. Yeah, could have. Because yeah. my cousin, she's... Did you like her? Yeah, I love her. Yeah. What a voice, eh? So, in a nutshell, you're telling oh, me... Oh, baby, you like don't get on things. your knees. Please. Oh, the bed has to be clean. No, don't, baby. <laughs> no, please. What are you cleaning? This place is spotless. It's spotless. She no, loves. Her? She loves to get on her knees. Has she, to be clean forever. She loves. She loves. She just. She loves with that beautiful body. Uh, she. She loves to just. This place is spotless. Thank she you. keeps Thank it spotless. You, this is my room. This is my little sister, Whitney Houston, and I keep her picture up because she's. So close to me, and she's she, still stunning, isn't she? Yep. And this is a show Michael and I did together. His last concert, I produced it, mm. called Michael Jackson 30th Anniversary Celebration, and I wrote him a check. This is one of many. Holy moly! For is two that two million? million? Two hundred seventy-five oh. uh, thousand. That's only one of them. Oh and, my and God! And it's signed. If you look here, by by you. Michael and me. Oh my God, I don't suppose we could cash this now, could we? No, it? you can't. Damn. Um, and that's Bubbles. A bubble. And, and Michael Cute. wrote on the back of this, To David, conquer love and vision, Michael Jackson. Then he put not for sale because I used to love to sell some of the things <laughs> and make some money. Yeah. Do you like that, not yeah, for yeah, sale? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I love touring. I did a uh, 34 city tour of the UK with my cousins, the Hump family singers. Yeah. We sing and I'm very hoarse today. Um, it goes, start spreading the news. Start I'm spreading the news. Sing it, sister. <laughs> oh, God. I'm leaving, leaving the... Today. No, I'm leaving the USA. You're using, leaving the USA? And I sing it, and I really belt Her it out. Voice. And Her voice. She's, she's great. It comes from the vagina. 
when you have a great voice, praise your vagina. Praise that vagina. Praise it. Praise it. Praise it. Yes. Oh, God, I love that vagina. And why is she laughing? Why are you cutting the Cheerios? Oh, they're called Cheery Halves. Because David doesn't believe in zeros. No one ever made any money from a zero, so I cut them in half. Did you ever make any money on a zero? No. David, what is your story? I wanted you to wear my coat, because I, then I could say, you wore something of mine. Yeah, because, oops. Oops, did you, what did I, you think of chlamydia? I like chlamydia. Chlamydia's lovely. She's lovely. She's lovely, And chlamydia. it's weird, because so she... Is, so is Lucy. Mr. Guest. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. It's like wonderful Christmas spirit. Festa. David wanted to get out of the house, so we headed to Covent Garden. I was perturbed by two things. His constant need for attention and the fact that his coat fit me like a glove. Okay, crazy cats. Cheese. Do they know that I charge 50 quid per picture? I, I don't know. It's going to be awkward. I have to invoice them. Charlie and his angels. But it's, it's so beautiful. Let's go beautiful. get a beer, mate. Yes, we're going to go out and get some good you, old pub food. Do you like beer? Uh, hello, how are you? L listen, we need to work on your English accent, seriously. I know, but they love my bad Dick Van Dyke cockney. We stopped at a local pub for food and hot toddy. This was the first time we were alone. And I was hoping to have a real meaty conversation. Ironically, though, we started talking about salad. Do you know the real way to eat salad? Lulu taught me this. I went out, this was many years ago, with Tula Clark and Lulu. The real way to eat salad is with your fingers. I swear to God. It's gonna take you ages. I'm not gonna eat all of it. It's gonna pick. Yeah. Oh God, you know so many famous people. Don't you? I know a lot, but... Out of all of them, could you count your, your real friends? Oh yeah. On one hand? No, on four. That's good. People always zoom in on the negatives about celebrities. I don't know why. Have you been abused in the past? Slugged I think, off? I think I was during the Liza Minnelli period, and I think it all changed after I'm a celebrity got me out of here. Yeah. I don't think I was really known before I married um, Liza. I think I was known in the industry, but not by the public. Now it's a whole different ball game. I'm a television star. Yeah, but you were, like, you were a music producer, a well-respected music producer in your own right before you met her. How, yeah. how did you guys meet? Did you meet through the, the business? I met, um, I actually, let me come right back to this, because I'm going to go and floss. Typical. Just when I get him to start flapping his gums, he goes to clean them. He is nuts. You can see I'm really trying. However, on his return, he makes it clear he's not ready to come clean with me. Yet. We went to dinner and it was so lovely, but I'm so tired because it's four below zero. So we're back home. I put on an evening coat like Fred Astaire. And, <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. and she put on the robot butter is a gift from the Disney store. Yeah. You look, you look very sensational. I'm not going to lie to you. I've never felt as sexy. Now I'm going to fill my hottie. Are you ready to go to sleep? Well, would I be able to have some water, please? Thank Do you. Do you want some juices? No, thank One you. Juice? No, thank you. You know, makes the urine come out better. Mango. No, thank you. Your urinary tract is good, though? Yeah, thank you. OK, you're thin. That's why I know it is. OK, go on. Thin. This is how you take your shower. Right. Do you want it? Should we get undressed and we'll do it? Uh, no, no. I think, I think we could talk through it. Okay, let's yeah, talk through it. Okay. Mm. So you just turn this on. This should be on in about the hot water's back. Can you do this or do you need chlamydia to help you? No, she will... no, I do not want chlamydia coming in here. Oh God, I do love bed. Good night, David. Good night. Oh my God. I, I need to know something I forgot to ask you. Yeah. Cheery halves. Yes. Will you have some in the morning? No, thank you. You're kidding. Well, this gives, can I just tell you? Yeah. Just this with a little milk gives you energy for the whole day. Cheery halves. Is that the door? Yep. What else can I say? And that, my friends, is David Guest. Good night. Bye -bye. 
This week, I'm living with reality TV star David Guest. David's entourage has increased this morning. Oh, morning! Praise you, praise you. Come on in, come on in. Along with cousin Chlamydia, we've been joined by his hairdresser, Nico. Not that I'm complaining. Just make me look beautiful, please, Nico. Good morning. Give, give my hair some vol. Hello. Hello, how are Hello. you? How are you? How are you? Oh, my cousin. Oh, cousin Dave, you Good sleep well? Mini. I slept like a baby in heat. <laughs> hello, oh, hello. Oh, how wonderful to see you. Lucky to see you too. Oh, come on in, you're ready for breakfast. Uh -oh, Hi, I'm Lucy. Hi, Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. This Thank you so much. She's one of the little people of David. Like, you have to pet her head. It brings you good no! luck. No! Oh, <laughs> it's you really have rude. To. It's, no, it's not. I'll give you good luck. It gives you good luck. How are if, you? If you pet a little person on the head, it gives you good luck for the whole day. You I just swear. Go, <clears throat> no, she loves me. How yeah. are you? I'm good. What, what did you come for your sandwich? My peanut butter and jello sandwich. It's Tuesday. Somebody spiked my tea. Just, just checking. It's just like a really weird dream. So here's one little one sandwich for you. Thank you. Eat it. Thank you. You love it. Thank you. She loves mm. it. Would you like one? It's okay. Mm. Thank you. Do you want one? I would love some. Oh, cousin. So good. Praise God. Praise God. Praise, praise God. Artie. Praise her. Praise her. Praise, praise, praise her. Praise, praise her. This morning. Oh, my good God. Mm. Okay. Oh. Seriously, I don't know whether to laugh or cry. This is like being in a very, very strange dream. David has a dinner party planned for tonight and refuses to tell me the guest list. Oh, no pun intended. He wants our merry band to head into London to pick up dessert for tonight's meal. If this is who he hangs out with every day, I can't wait to see who he invites for special occasions. Lucy? Yep? We're going to take you for the best cakes in the world. Ooh. It's the Hummingbird, and the red velvet cake is Whitney Houston and my favorite. Okay. And we're here. Welcome, Welcome to the Hummingbird. Thank you. It's good to be here. We're going to line up different cakes. Okay. And we're going to put our fingers in them and take... My kind of place. Uh, exactly. Uh, 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 Cousin Dave, you've got this is black bottom, right? Oh, black bottom. Black bottom. And uh, uh, of course, Cousin Chlamydia loves oh. a good black bottom. I love a black bottom. Now that should give us enough to do a tasting. Yeah, we may need... Praise oh. the hummingbird! Praise. Humming, Praise the hummingbird! Praise the hummingbird! Praise, Praise the hummingbird! The hummingbird. I, I actually don't even know these people. I just came in to get a coffee. Yeah. And what would you like? You can't drink coffee. What can I have? It will stunt your growth, baby. Oh, no. Aww. And it goes like this. Here's the ifta. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, oh happy day. Oh, happy day. Woo! Now eat the yeah. cake. Oh, eat the cake. Oh, happy day. Praise okay. God. Praise the cakes. Praise those cakes. Now try. Let's stop praising them and let's tuck in. And you can just go around. This is my oh, favorite. This. Come on, team. This is like a school tour. Where's David? After we poked every cake in the shop, we then headed to David's favorite Japanese restaurant for lunch. The lights were too bright for David, but they very kindly offered to dim some. So, everything. Your, your eyes look better today. Thank you. Do, do people tell you you have beautiful eyes? No. <laughs> really? No. Well, maybe. Thank you. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Was this pork oh, wow, circumcised? Oh, wowzers. Do you want some water? <laughs> Was it? Don't know. Just do what I do. Just smile at him. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, a nod. Yes. You said earlier on that you want to speak to someone from my family. I'd love to speak to your family. So I'm going to put you on to Richie, OK? OK. It's my husband. You're not going to let me down. I won't. Put him on loudspeaker. What does anus mean? No, Rich, don't listen to this. What, what is what? It, <laughs> Rich, it, don't listen to this. He's in work. So is marriage better after 11 years, or, is, or do you just take each other for granted? 
Okay, what what was the most exciting? Be very honest. Position. Don't be honest. Oh no. No, no. Position in the last year that that happened. Let's talk about your interviewing technique. Okay. It's very like Parky. I like it. Um, I think I'm a very good interviewer because I was going to be a psychologist before I got into entertainment. That was what you I really. You were not. I swear to God, because I was a pretty rebellious child. I think I moved out when I was 16. Yeah. Um, I'd love to have children. I wish I would have. I think my career always came before everything uh, until my first marriage. But I learned from the first marriage about caring more about somebody else than yourself. Yeah. I can't say it was the same on the other side. <laughs> May she have a nice life. So I got an itch in my nose. Uh, <laughs> Having ditched the entourage, I finally cornered David for a serious chat. For about five minutes. David, I, are you a workaholic? I am. But um, you do love what you do, which is so nice to see, like you're passionate. I think I'm passionate and I love the fact that wherever I go, the kids and the people come up. I think that's probably due to a childhood where um, I had a father who was very strict. Uh, I was beaten incessantly. And there wasn't love in my family. Um, I was really raised by two other people, Jane Russell, who was like my second mother, and by Katherine Jackson. I really did not have love. And are your parents still alive? Uh, my mother has Alzheimer's and my father is dead. He died many, many years ago. But you know, as a kid, if I took a dollar and went and bought candy, I'd be beaten. I mean, black and blue. So I don't have fond memories of a family life and being loved. And I've always been, I would say, insecure about how I look. People come up to me, they go, oh, you're much cuter in person or something. And I think, God, I'm an ugly sod. Oh, you're younger and, in the flesh. You look um, younger. Thank you very much. Yeah, you do. How much did I pay you for that 20 one? 20 quid. Uh, was it 20? <laughs> I thought it was 10. Okay. But I had a very rough childhood. And... Music changed my life. Being best friends with Michael and Tito at such an early age, I wanted to be going on the road, and I got into the business when I was 16. I oh begged a paper to write for them as a critic. They said no. I said, I'm 21. I wasn't, I had a beard. Yeah, I had yeah. an afro out to here. <laughs> God, what I'd pay for that now. Um, and I stayed there for five hours until he hired me. And so I got to review, my first review was Ray Charles. Do you, um, do you have any regrets in life? Like you've been around. Let's put it this way. Life wasn't always a cabaret, old chum. <laughs> <laughs> Got something in my nose, sorry. Don't how, know what I'm talking about. How are you finding this whole living with Lucy? Do you find it weird? Are you comfortable? Do you find it intrusive? I don't find you being here intrusive because when I peeked in on you last night when you were sleeping, what? I gotta tell you. You, what? Yeah. They, you may have little titties, but they are the cutest things I've oh, ever seen in my life. My God. That evening, David has hired a top London catering firm for tonight's dinner party. They have pre cooked the food and supplied a professional waitress to serve. However, five minutes in the door, and we're all walking on eggshells, literally, as she accidentally drops some egg in the kitchen. Q. World War Three. I think we'll be fine. I'll let her go. No, 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 no. Okay. Let her go, let her go. Watch this stuff right there. She spilled stuff all over. Okay, don't worry, I'll clean that up. Get somebody new here immediately. This is a joke. From you the agree that people are coming at 7.30. And this is the biggest embarrassment. You're going to look ridiculous all over the world. Wow. Take it Why easy. don't you tell the girl to come on back? I'm going to let Sunny, I'm going to let you go and do your thing. Okay. I, there's certain ways I wanted this done. No and I don't think they told you and what they told me. So I appreciate your coming. It's okay. 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 Are you sure? I am positive. Thank you. The waitress is sent packing, leaving me, David, and another of his housekeepers to organize the entire evening. He starts giving it to me, he's gonna get the fright of his yes. life. I don't care. What happened was, 
They sent me a girl. They told me the place they were going to get the best person knows how to serve. And they sent me a girl who walked in. And I said, how much do we put the turkey on? I don't know. Which side of the plate does the napkin go on? I don't know. Which side do you want it on? Which side do I want it on? The proper side is what I want it on. And then I said, have you ever served before? Well, how do you, there's many ways to serve. How do you want me to serve? I said, can you do it standing on your head? <laughs> we managed to get the salad prepared before guests guests start arriving. Uh, do we have to have this party? That's what I'm saying. You wanted all this stuff. Well. Your people wanted this. Said... Well, I didn't realize it would be so stressful. But stress is part of life. I had a cousin who died from stress. Well, I'm on the verge of it. They found her dead with her finger inside her vagina. Now I feel sick and stressed. Everybody's late. Come on in. Hi, I'm Lucy. Hi, Lucy. nice to meet you. How are you? Hi. 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 Hi, I'm Lucy. Never Hi. heard of you before. Don't you worry. Life. How are you? I'm nice no to meet you. <laughs> they did a story on the best catering in all of London, uh -huh. making food. Yeah. And they said, we have the best people, and the girl gets here. And I said, do you want to put, do you want to set the table? Yeah. She, uh, and I said, you know which side to put the napkin on? She goes, well, you can either put it on the right or the left. <laughs> and I went, oh, and, and, I, and, I, and I thought, oh my God. I said, we're not going to need your service today. <laughs> Hi! Oh, how are you doing? Oh my goodness! Hi, I'm Lucy. Lucy Hi, how are you? Mm. No tongue kissing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you look at Cheryl runs Blake's. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> I know Gloria, but when I heard Cheryl, I was thinking, yes, Cheryl Cole. This is our bird for tonight. I'm going to carve it in the kitchen instead of Wonderful. trying to do it here. That's an interesting subject. It's what our nicknames have been. Yeah. So what's your nickname? Have you had a nickname in your life? Uh, yeah, L L Liza that? called me. My nickname oh, no. was um, <laughs> Pa. She was Ma and I was Pa. Oh, really? Yeah. And did you answer to that? Did yeah, you like it? yeah, I did. <laughs> At the time, didn't know it cost me so much. Um, <laughs> anyway, here's a toast. To Lucy, welcome. To David. To David. Okay. Cheers. To David. Yes. To David. What a weirdo. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> David's decision to fire the caterer comes back to haunt us once again. As with him insisting on serving up the main course, we would have been quicker flying to Turkey. What's going to happen now if you don't get your white ass into action is people are going to be waiting for other people to join the table till they eat. Why are we? In my own home. Come on! Come here, I've had to work. I've had to put up with your abuse. Okay. Later, loser. Did you ever tell him? No. no tell we just did a show called uh, Celebrity Cash in the Attic. It airs next week, I think it is. You have a way with people, and this is what you can learn, Lucy. You've got so much to learn. You. you <laughs> Now, nice this is Who is this knob at the end of the table? I have a cousin named Nobby. Seriously, I told you that. Well, um, she leave knows with one eye open, Gesty. I love you, Lucy. So fickle. So fickle. I love you. I can't wait. I'm, I'm counting. Ten more hours. Anyway, um, ten more hours. Can I just tell you what? He's trying to be cool. He's going to cry when I go. I am emotionally and physically drained. Okay, I'm going to make the coffee, and then no doubt you're going to take the credit, so... I will. I'll just, yeah, tell you roll. Do you feel... Sorry, this, do is you there feel, another speech coming on? No. Do you feel being with David Guest... Oh, yeah. ...was a rare treat for you? Mm. Well, what we say treat? Um, Wowzers. No, did your hormones well, start to move? N not even vaguely. And with that, it was time to leave. There was no sign of David the next morning, so I just let myself out. Ah, oh, OK. That was David Guest. As you can see by my face, I'm still in shock. That was just like a really weird, wacky, but wonderful dream. 
Uh, he is hysterical. I've been laughing the whole time. I've, I've, been, oh, Lucy. I've been with him. Oh, oh my God, this is genuinely like the Lucy, date that wouldn't end. You, you left Hi. without saying and I, I got your robe on. Yeah, where the hell did you get that? That's mine. You your, this is Bugger off, get your own one. This is your, how do you do this? Oh God, David, honestly, who's going to look after you when I'm not here? But this is yours. You, I know, you God, broke it. We need a scissors. It smells so good. Do you know what? Keep I it. Keep no, it. no, I don't no, want to keep it. Keep it. it. No, no. Call me. Thanks for having me. Bye, David. Hi. This is David Guest. Oh my God, sorry, what, excuse me, what is with all the links? <laughs> Why do you keep me doing all these links to camera? If you can't take Lucy in the kitchen, <laughs> you can't take the heat. One last time. Oh, for God's sake, I'm gonna take my own life. Can somebody pass me a carving knife? Oh.